Hello, are you in the holiday spirit? Well, let me tell you, when I went shopping today, I decided I'm going to Dollar Tree, find the funnest things I can do that kids can make or you can make for quick and easy gifts to give to those that tennis group or to give to the school teachers or to help your kids paint them themselves for some of their friends and grandma and Grandma likes gifts too, all right? So I want you to see that there's these plastic plates over where the kitchen stuff is and utensils and all, and they're two for a dollar. We have a white rimmed cup, okay? It's a white cup with a gold rim, all right? And we have these cute little new bottles at Dollar Tree. Now, I can tell you that I mean, sometimes you guys, I had the plaid plates, the buffalo plaid plates, and I had some of the wood pieces for the fall. And what happened is you went looking and sometimes they were already gone. So one little key for a holiday wood pieces at Dollar Tree. I just went and bought a whole bunch. I'm going to be having some more specials on here for you. But I want you to know that if you go looking for those, you need to get them as soon as they hit the store because they go fast, because sometimes they're not everyday things like these. Sometimes they're special promotions and they just ship the, a certain amount to every store. All right. So um, even if you've searched many stores and you go online, sometimes you can't find those. I'm just letting you know that. But I wanted to go to everyday things and the, the ribbon, they keep getting ribbons in more and more. There's fun little ribbons that I got. Oop, I taped that one up. Um, they're inexpensive for ribbon and they're good quality. This one's a wired ribbon, which I like because it holds a nice shape. And these are the little simple little dollar ribbons. And you might find those at other places. But what I loved is that this has sequins and they were really fun. These three things, I am going to teach you how to paint something today very quick and easy. So would you like to see? All right. So these are fun items. So I think maybe to keep you on, I'm going to show you one at a time. We're going to make this fun little project. This can go in a wreath or it can hang. You can put a bow on the top and hang it with a little loop. You can hot glue it or look what I got. I got this over in the kids section where the kids crafts are and the little section of kids stuff. And it is the tape that you do for scrapbooking and all. But there's three sizes, large, medium and small. So there's lots of things that you can put on with this two sided sticky uh, foam, ta foam tape. OK, so I'm just going to throw that out to the side so you can see. So let's get going. This is a quick and easy little fun project, but I am going to show you on a couple of things how to do the snowman's face now and then make it simple, simple, but fun. So we're going to get our brushes and get started or just watch me and come back and do it later. Now, this is all relax and paint and I'm talking louder because I was in such a good mood. Um, and I said, you know what? I didn't get to do it first thing this morning. So I thought I am going to go shopping at the Dollar Tree because you guys always watch these the most and then come and paint with you. So let's get painting. It's a little bit longer than normal, but I think you're going to enjoy it. All right. I know you are. So are you ready? Let's get going. I'm going to bring my camera overhead so you can see step by step the painting that I'm going to do with you. And I am ready. OK, so plastic plate. All right. This is our multi-surface paint. So on this type of plastic, it will sit it. It will stay when it's totally dry. All right. I even put a little shadow underneath the the um, what are those pieces of coal? All right. So I even the eyes I can make simple for you. Believe that. All right. And I made a little bow and I just stuck it on with that two sided tape and let's get going here. I want to move that out of the way. Now I've been playing. So here's my paint. I had pure orange, all the multi-surface paint, guys. And I also have paint all over me, don't I? <laughs> all right, multi-surface paint. I have wicker white and I have apple red, pure orange. You can get all these at onestroke.com, okay? I This is for something I'm doing later. And so I have licorice, all right? 
So actually four colors. So it makes it really easy if you just want to do snowman. All right. And I'm telling you, your kids will like this too. All right. This brush has to be dry. This is our medium scruffy. All right. It's a half a scruffy half inch. Okay. And there's quarter inch scruffies and there's three quarter inch scruffies. Okay. So I'm tapping mostly red into this dry brush and I tap, 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 tap and the edge of the white. Okay. And it squishes it, but that's okay. Because what we're going to do is right here's the center. You can see the little dot in the middle. And so on the right side, I'm going to keep the white up because he's got a, a shine on his cheeks. See a light tap, 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 tap to keep the shape. Okay. You can use a dauber too. Where's my daubers? You can take and get these daubers. We sell these. These are fun too. And you can tap that dauber also. Okay. So, but the scruffy is going to be your best friend. I make flowers and everything out of the scruffy. All right. So I'm going to put that down because we might use that again. Hint, hint. <laughs> All right. So let me get my liner. Uh -huh. Okay. And I'm going to do a carrot now. All right. So now I didn't want the care. I didn't want you to have to shade later. And one stroke is blending, shading, and highlighting in each stroke. So I'm going to side load the apple red with the orange. That's just to bring the red in since the ribbon and the cheeks are red. Okay. So you're going to go back and forth with lots of pure orange. Now, when you're on the plastic, you don't want, or glass, you don't want it to be real thin, okay? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a half circle up here, or, um, or an upside down U, okay? Now, I still feel like I need more pure orange. I want a lot of paint on here. Okay, so watch this. I'm going to go just like this. Now you can take a dry erase marker and make the circles so you know where you want to go and you can make the carrot. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go one. Let's start down here. I'm going to go here, 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 here. So see how quick that was? Now I can take my liner. I got paint all over me. I'm going to take my liner and I can take and make a curl at the end. This is just if you want to, you can just go straight, but I thought let's curl him up. Okay, just to give him a little pizzazz. Now I can rinse that and go over here and you don't want anything inky on glass or on plastic. So I usually make liner brushes inky, but I want you to see, I'm going to take and go a little bit at the top. All right, that's heavy, <laughs> but that's okay. Look, then I'm going to pull it and I'm going to take a little bit around here. I can still pull from here because that's a lot of black up there. And I can go just on that side, just make a little bit. And I can go a little teeny bit on here. And I can come in here and just put a little bit of accent along here. Or it looked cute without it. So remember that. Now I have a shaky hand today. I do not know why. My diabetes, I guess. So I want you to see something. Um, I will take a clean, wet brush. And I can come right along here. Not like that. All right. I can go right along here. And take off some if I don't like it with a wet dry a wet dampened brush and I do this a lot with glass and wood and just clean it up okay and then I when I move away I'm going to the paper towel over here all right now like I'm not happy I got so big on the black so what you would do on the licorice what you would do is take your script liner and only get on the tip and I laid it down. So there you go. All right. So he's still cute. I got a little red up there. Now, let me show you what happens next. Now, the rest of this is pretty much black. All right, the licorice. So I have a one script liner inside my brush set. 
this is that value pack, brooch, uh, student value pack. So it's called Donna DeWeary's One Stroke Value Pack Brush on my site. And you get 10 brushes for about uh, $15, $16. Okay, so I have a little trick for you. Um, I'm going to put down this two script liner because that might make you a little nervous if you're new. All right. So I'm going to roll the thick paint, not inky, because we're on plastic and glass. All right. So look what happens. I'm going to dot and get a triangle. Now, I don't want it to stay a triangle, but I want these to match. So I'm going to kind of dot a triangle. Are you with me? Okay, so look what happens now. I'm getting thick paint and I steady my fingers so I don't shake so much. I'm still shaking. Okay, so you wanna dot little dots and fill this in. And I like it when it's not filled like solid. And you know, I'm jack-o'-lantern and we fill it all in. Don't fill it all in solid. Okay, so see, I used to see these elves in the window when I was growing up and they were magical. And they had little dotted wispy eyes and they weren't exact. Yeah, there we go. All right. Can you see that? Now this one looks a little bigger. So you just move some out. Okay. So try not to make it look just like a triangle when you're done. Now slice, slice, and just leave it, whatever it turns out like. Of course, I can't leave it. <laughs> now, you can leave it like this without using your little liner, two script liner for lashes. But if you want lashes, you don't want short ones like that. You, you want to wipe off some of the paint and get just a little bit of liner and get one spot right up here where it would twinkle. Turn it upside down so you can pull it towards you and only touch the tip. So I gotta have more paint. Okay. All right, see, it was cute without that, so it's up to you, all right? Now I'm gonna wipe off the one script liner. I'm gonna put a dot for that glare and an itty bitty dot, all right? A big dot and a little bitty dot, and they need to be on the same side, the left side. All right, how easy is that so far, right? All right, so I'm going to pick up and make coal. All right, so I'm going to make little pieces of coal all the way around. And I got bigger and then little as I came around. All right, so now what, what you saw me do is I kind of went over to the gray and just got it really thin. And I kind of put a little bit. Let's put a teeny bit of medium out here. I don't want, you have to be careful because it'll just beat up. But I put a little bit of floating medium. You see that? There we go. All right, just a teeny bit. Oh, look what I did. I just got it kind of inky. All right, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that underneath. And you know what, guys? It makes it look like a, like it's shadowed a little bit, All right? Isn't that fun? And it was simple, right? And all I did was put the sticky down here, tied a little bow, but you could even buy the bows all done. But listen, I just want to tell you the bow lesson. If you go to the Dollar Tree pumpkin, um, wreath, I, I mean, pumpkin, pumpkin hanger I put on my front door and I taught how to do that. I teach you how to make a bow right at the end of that class. So go check that out. All right. So you like it? Woohoo! There we are. Fun. Now, what's next? Let me show you. And this will give you a little bit more practice here. So what we're going to do is I am going to take and make this. This is a dollar's worth of candy cane, a great little gift. This is some of that bow that's there. And I made big eyes on this one, but I was going to show you that's the same eye. But let me show you a little more delicate eye and see the shadow underneath. Now, same paint, paints on glass, right? So this is what we're going to do. We can use our smaller brush or we can go right here and make big, cute cheeks. 
Okay. All right. So I don't want the white spot in the middle. All right. And this one, let's get some more white because I thought it would still be good for me, but let's put a little white at the top so it makes it pinker. All right. He's got a little cheery little cheek there. Now I'm going to put that brush in the water now. And then remember the orange, pure orange and apple red. Okay. So we're going to put it here. Let's go over the top. And I'm going to keep it flat and then I'm going to curl. All right. So you can put a little curl on the end if you want. Now, remember, I started down here. Instead of doing the black, let's do this. Let's just do a little curve, a little curve. And it looks like a carrot then. Okay. And then we're going to pick up and I'm going to show you another type of eye. Okay. So we're going to take and get thin, then roll the brush. It's got a little water in it. I'm going to roll it really thin. Now watch this. I'm going to take and, oops, that's pretty thin. All right, let's just make it really little and show you how cute this turns out. Okay, let's come up here so y'all can see this. Okay. See, it's still like a triangle. All right. So, and look, the best part is if you don't like something, you can wipe it off. If you don't like the whole thing, scrub it in the kitchen sink and it will be fine. And you can start over. All right. And let me just try another little smile. See this? I got to put a little bit of licorice at the top. I'm going to pick up some white and do a little accent on the eye. Okay, let's get some more white. I smeared that one. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do here is let's get some more of the licorice. And I can come right here and I can make a little wrinkled. Now, one little thing is you can get a permanent marker. But this paint will stay better but you could get a permanent marker for some of this detail. A glass, we have glass pens that we sell at one stroke that you can put there too. All right, hopefully you do that in one time. I had to do it a couple and put a little smile on there. All right, so when we're all done, we have a little eye or a really big eye. And that's fun. Let the kids do it and see what theirs turns into. All right. So you saw that was pretty simple. Well, this is what I wanted to show you. I decided to put Santa on these cute little jars. Look, they're little bottles. You can put something sweet inside the bottles. And then here it is. We're making an oil bottle. Or here's a little gnome. And there's that pretty ribbon again. I tied that on the handle. I made his hat. You can stripe his hat or polka dot his hat. You can do all kinds of fun little things. And gnomes would be cute to do that. So I'm going to take these little daubers. Okay. And I can come right in here and do daubers around it. Little dot daubers. Okay. All the way around. And I can do another row of them up here. I'm not going to go all the way around in front of you because you guys get the point. All right. And then I can do little sweater designs with the script liner. Zigzags and dots. Okay. So there's our cute little gnome. And to do his nose, I just took the handle of my script liner. Okay, I dipped it into the coffee latte and I just went like this. Okay. Then after that dried for a few minutes, did y'all see that? I just put it here and made a circle, an, an oval, guys, an oval. Then I could take a dip dot into my licorice. See that in here? 
And then I'm gonna put a little dot glare, or I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger. So see, I made them bigger. It looks like they fit better. And then I can come in with a little teeny bit of a dot and a dot. And isn't he gonna be cute? My little gnome. And I pull a little glare on his nose. All right, so that's where we are so far, but I'm gonna show you how to do this beard. See, I, I swirled the beard up on the other side. Isn't he cute? And you can tie a bow right around this top here too. I just thought it was really clever. But, but and here's the snowman. And I'm gonna show you how I put it all on. And then I'm gonna come back and put a scruffy um, fur around the top of the Santa. So I can show you how I made that happen. Okay, let's go here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up coffee latte. I love working on glass. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of wicker white. Coffee latte and wicker white. This is perfect for glass. You don't have to bake it. Usually we bake our paint. You can let it air dry for 21 days and put thick paint on. Don't make it super thin. We want it to stay on, okay? So there's the face. And then I can, I can make the cheeks with a small scruffy, or I can just take and so we, you can just take this 12 and pick up, let me show you, pick up a little bit of the red and just come right in here if you want. Because we're gonna have the beard over all this, right? All right, or you can take the small scruffy and pounce it the same way and pounce right on it like you did the last one. All right, so then what I wanted to show you is that I have this rake brush that's really fun. And what we can do with this rake brush is that we can get this medium gray. See that medium gray? And I can come right in here and go right into the cheeks. Okay, and I came around and curled a little bit of that onto, I know you can't see it yet, but we'll bring the white. But see how I just put that, like his beard coming that way. And then I came all the way over with a curl over here. Okay, so medium gray and wicker white. So watch me get the white. Thick white. This is not wet. This is not inky. I'm going to pull down this way. And the gray just kind of helps the white show, but the white shows are really good on glass. See this? And we're going to spin it around. And it makes the hair, see, really easily. And then we spin this. These are just fun little projects. And even if the kids or you make the, the beard just chunky or straight or not cover really well, it still looks cute, I promise. I've seen all kinds of hair and beard, but you need to get this brush. It's a, it's a rake brush. We call it a rake or feather brush. See how fun? It's got streaks all in it. All right. Now you can do the gnome's beard the same way, or you can come all the way around. And you don't have to use a gray. I just use the gray to help me. Okay. Now, isn't that kind of cute? Well, we want it to look even. See, this isn't looking as even. So I can come up here and right in there. And then his little cheeks are right there. Okay, so now I'm going to get some more gray and go right. Let's pick up gray on the tip. And right in here is going to be where the mustache goes on both sides. All right, so right there. That white's a little bit of a glare. And then we're tapping right into the white with just the tip. So 
Let's see the, the mustache, push down and, and pick up around. Here we go. See how fun that looks? All right, now I'm not gonna do anything with the eyes right now, but what you do wanna do is just pick up your red or whatever color you want and stroke in the Santa's hat. Now, like I told you, you can just take after you do this, you can just tie a bow around here and not do much more than just put the red there. But this is going to need, look, you're going to start here and pull down real easily. You can cover the handle if you want. But can you see how it picks up some? I'm just laying it there. So you might, you will have to do, let this totally dry or get a blow dryer and dry it. Not a heat gun. A heat gun will blister it and make it uh, crack. But if you use a blow dryer, it will dry up and then you can easily come back and do a second coat. Well, I'm going to stop there and put the little eyes and then go show you um, how to put the other on. Oops, I lost the cap on here, the cork. Okay, so I'm going to make a little nose right there, a little teeny nose with a one script liner. Okay, a little dot. Okay, all the daubers and the tools that I show you are on onestroke.com. Okay, all right, so I'm going to get this is the one script liner. I'm going to steady myself and I'm going to put a little teeny dot eye. I'm going for that little triangle. Because when we get through either that or just a dot like that will look good. So whatever you feel comfortable with. But see if I just little dot the tip. I'm laying this down so my brush isn't in front of the camera. So it's a little, made a little extra dot that I didn't want. Okay, so then I can come right in here and put two dots of big one and then a little one at the top can you see that now look that just doesn't look good to me so all i have to do is take away a little bit of the white because the black's still really wet see that or you can just put black which is licorice and redot it okay now what what's going to happen is he has eyebrows, which are tapped white. Because he's our Santa. Tap, 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 tap. His little eyebrows. There we go. And then I like to put a little shine on his nose. All right, isn't he fun? Okay. There we go. And I just tied a bow on the handle. So there's the gnome. There's the Santa. All right. So look what happens. I'm trying to do things that you don't have to go back and do a lot of work with, especially if you're doing a quick little gift. OK. Uh, and a giveaway. So what I want to do is if you want a little gift that's fun, door prizes, there's all kinds of things. Now you could take a little exacto knife or a paring knife and you can scrape off paint that you want to be straight and not have it on here. Or you can paint that whole handle red. That would look cute too. But I want to show you on this little guy. Is this a fun little class for you guys? I hope you like it. Let me show you. I'm going to get a little tip right here. And I'm going to go right there and right there. A little double, little one dot. And then a little dot up there for the glare. All right. And this, uh, I've got this brush with wild hairs going here. I need my better liner. I grabbed the wrong one. Okay. But he also, remember, he needs a glare on his nose. Okay. This is little glare on his little red nose. Okay, Scruffy. 
dry scruffy, quarter inch scruffy, pounce straight up and down. And then we're going to pounce all, oh, I'm going to pounce some gray. Look, I picked up a little gray. Now pounce the white. And I'm going to keep the gray down so, so you can see it. Uh, there we go. We want the gray to come down here. You see that? Now I'm going to put the white on the top area. I have too much of a glare on here with the light, so let me fix it. Okay. Let me move this away so you can see better. Out of the light is going to get me anyway. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have a little bit of gray there. I've got a little bit of a ridge. Okay. Now, the bow really makes this, but I think, I want you to think about um, doing a little bit of, I got, I got all kinds of glitter that you can put on here too, which is nice. But I wanted you to see that we can put a little bit of a striping. So I do need that to be inky. So the these are just three little quick projects. And if you want to um, do some more with me, they're coming up, okay? So if I don't do a straight line because I've got the trim shakes today, then make it wiggly. Okay. And you can make this gold or silver. Use metallics. Okay. And then you can put the scruffy top up here after I take off my plastic. You can just top it off up here. Okay, there you go. So I hope you like that. If you let this all totally dry, then you could take your medium, which I lost somewhere here. Oh, here's medium. So you can, this is a six flat. I can do medium. And I'm going to take some of that off and then go right here and pick up some gray. It's too wet. There we are. Okay, so look what happens here. I can come right in here and shade. Now look what happens on this side. That I shade and the side I didn't shade. See that? I can also come in here and make some more little curves in the hair. So I can come along here. I hope I'm teaching you something you didn't know today. That's what's fun. All right, see, so I'm putting more of a curve there. Okay. And so you can get more detail. You can do this too with the rake brush, but I just want you to see. There we go. Now you can just do the berry wine and shade stripes in here, but I thought that would be with our pretty little bow. That would be fun. Have a green bow. Aren't those cute? You guys give me some ideas about something cute to put inside this little bottle. All I could think is pretty colored oils. All right. So there we are. There we go. So I hope that you guys, let me go back over here. I hope that you are getting that spirit to get ready for the holidays. I hope that you are excited about all the new things that I'm going to be showing you. I love to pull out these little fun craft projects. I even got peppermint bark and that's right there at the cash register at the Dollar Tree. So pretty white cups. I got red cups too. So I'm thinking about what to do with those. And I 
have it full of peppermints and usually, but they didn't have any, we like to give these to the teacher and fill them with pencils. So these are peppermints or pencils that they can give away to the students as a little gift. So when they're being really good or just as a treat. So I, there's all kinds of pretty colored peppermints. So that is that one. And oops. Then we have our little gnomes and Santas. And I thought I was pretty clever with these. Now you can, just little hints, you can get the um, pie pan, the big pie pan, spray it white, make a big um, snowman and put him in the evergreen wreath that they sell there. All right, but look at this. So if this was inside the wreath, you'd have the pretty green and the bow already. And you would have your cute little snowman. Now you can take a long hair and shade it with that gray if you want to and float it, float it with that medium gray. All right. So this season is wonderful for the family. So think about your family getting together with your grandchildren or helping your children make something creative for people. My kids would make these fun little, I showed them how to take tiles from the hardware store. They're like 13 to 20 cents. And they would put uh, felt on one side. So they're little um, coasters. That's what they were. They were trivets for hot stuff. But our kids would paint on them and go put them in all the neighbor's mailboxes <laughs> as a little gift. And sometimes they didn't even say who they came from. All right. So enjoy yourself, share, tell me, like it. If you really like my Dollar Tree ideas, I don't know until you tell me. And then go on and like it and make comments and watch over and over, okay? Then that makes me know that it's popular and it's a good thing. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <music>